My girlfriend won't watch Fast and Furious with me. She says, This is just dumb action. None of it makes any sense. There's not enough romance in it. But she's wrong. And I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna make a trailer for the Fast and Furious movies that transforms them into a romantic comedy. And then maybe, just maybe, my girlfriend will watch the Fast movies with me. But we'll see at the end of this video. Oh, hey. Hey, babe. Um, so, did you watch it? So how are we gonna do this? The first and most important thing is to establish the story that we're gonna tell. Now there are a lot of characters in the Fast Universe and a lot of potential relationships to choose from. And the biggest ones are Dom and Letty or Brian and Mia. But those are too obvious. We need to go bigger, more surprising, and with more love. After watching nine Fast and Furious movies, I have scientifically proven to myself that the true love story at the center of the Fast and Furious films is between three hunks and their feelings for each other. I'm talking Dom, Hobbs, and Shaw. It's the big, bold, bold romance that my girlfriend needs right now. And I'm not gonna let her down. So now that we know the story we wanna tell, next comes the tricky part. A good rom-com is both funny and romantic, and a good trailer needs to get both of those points across. Some good examples of what I'm going for are these Ryan Reynolds rom-coms pre-Deadpool. It's got the exact vibe that we want. Touring with the world's hottest pop star. God, We'll take him home. Nearly all of these trailers feature a voiceover. It helps establish what's going to happen in a movie and who's who. So it's time to get scripting our trailer. Adding some car puns and finding some love in the fast lane. So now that we've got our script, it's about finding those clips from the movies that really set the mood. We've got three burly and brooding men and only a couple smiles here and there. When I started cutting this, I was going through all of the fast movies, but I quickly realized that it was gonna be way too jarring having Vin Diesel age so much in the same trailer. So that didn't work. And I stuck to fast six, seven, eight, and nine. RIP, too fast, too furious. I said forget about it, cuz. Now that we've got our clips, it's time to start assembling this. And it's really important that we don't cut too hectically to begin with. At first, I was only gonna use a part of their reaction. It's gonna be awkward. But instead, I decided to use the whole thing, just slowing things down a bit and really helping the humor in the trailer, which is exactly what you want from a rom-com. It's gonna be awkward. Sexy as and thanks to these more establishing scenes, I can get away with cutting to different characters quicker later on in the trailer so that my girlfriend knows what's going on and the narrative's been set. Most of the scenes in Fast and Furious just aren't that romantic. So we're gonna have to use editing to make the sparks fly. One scene that really works for the trailer is when Hobbs and Dom meet for the first time in Furious 7. There is literally no romantic dialogue in this scene. So I had to go back and take a line from Fast and Furious, the fourth one, not the first one. What? It's a scene where Dom is flirting with Gal Gadot's character. I'm one of those boys that appreciates a fine body regardless of the make. Mmm, so good. So I took a line from this scene and I put it over the top of this scene that had no romance in it at all. And, oh, whoa, boy, is it hot in here. <laughs> but the trailer is still missing one key ingredient, the music. I love editing to music so much, and I've spoken about it so many times. But when it comes to rom-coms, that's my jam. That's my jam. And when you look at all of these Ryan Reynolds trailers, they all have the most amazing bangers in them, from the noughties, from the 80s, from the 90s, to be, to be. And it's just like, what the hell? Why can't I use that? Oh, wait, copyright. But thank God. My friends licked have me covered. And I managed to find a whole bunch of 80s, 90s, and noughties romance songs, which were just absolutely perfect for the rom-com trailer. For example, The Power of Love by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. That's a huge song, and where else can I get this other than licked? And I could get away with using them copyright claims free. Because I purchased the license to use it. I mean, listen to this. This is the secret sauce. Oh, oh, you wanna watch this? Oh, you wanna watch this? Oh, it's a rom-com! It's a rom-com! Whoa! <laughs> so if you're in the market for any kind of music to put on your YouTube videos, then please use my link in the description. You get 50% off your first track. So thanks to Licked, the music's sorted. We've done the script, we've done the voiceover, and now we've gotta start doing the fancier edits. For one part, I used two completely different scenes, one with Hobbs and one with Dom. And with editing, I made it seem like they were in the same scene together. It required some masking and it didn't look great on its own, but it works within the trailer. And I honestly forgot later in the edit that I was even using masking. Stop the cap. For these two bald hunking men, it was love at first sight. I was like, <laughs> that looks great. I also borrowed a whole lot of rom-com cliches, like fade transitions, the flash to white transitions, and the, the light symbol hits. 
as well as some quicker montages of our characters to help show the scope of the movie. I also lost the letterboxing to give it that early noughties feel, as opposed to this epic action movie. Another key part was color grading to make it seem like it was all part of the same movie. And I'm making sure that this feels warm and that we're just losing the flat grays. And then, with a few finishing touches, we got our final trailer. Oh! And one of the biggest things that I ended up doing was changing my voice to the voiceover of a Netflix grade voice actor that I found on Fiverr. This fall, get ready. Now this guy, really impressive portfolio. And if he doesn't get my girlfriend going, oh, God, so <laughs> and if his manly testosterone filled voice doesn't get my girlfriend wanting to watch these movies, then I failed. Uh, I failed, I quit YouTube. And worst of all, I failed Vin. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. And now, for the final trailer and then we'll see what my girlfriend thinks. Dominic Toretto had it all. The looks, the ladies, the luxury cars, the Coronas. But after being shot by his former lover. It's gonna be awkward. Sexy as hell. He realized he was missing the most important thing in the world, family. What's up with you? What's going on? Everything's changed. And that's when he met Hobbs. I'm one of those boys that appreciates a fine body regardless of the make. I was hoping you'd say that. For these two bald, hunky men, it was love at first sight, but nothing perfect ever lasts. And they were stuck at a crossroads because of the one man Hobbs could never outrace. How do I find him? You know, Twinkle Toes, in another life, I bet me and you could have done some serious damage. Yeah, we could have. Yeah. A love triangle the New York Times calls groundbreaking for bald men everywhere. I don't know if I'm aroused or scared, says Variety. With Vin Diesel as Dominic Toretto. You don't have to get back up there, man. Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Hobbs. You just earned yourself a dance with the devil boy. And Jason Statham as Shaw. This guy. Finzar Productions present Fast and Furious, Love in the Fast Lane. Only thing that matters is who's behind the wheel. <laughs> Speeding into cinema soon. I'm really happy with how that turned out. The music, the look of it, the general vibe. I think it's great. So let's give my girlfriend a ring and see what she thought. Oh, hey. Hey, babe. Yeah. Um, so did you watch it? Yes, Ben. Yeah? Yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? You know, it's actually really good. I'd say as a creative project, it's pretty much a success. Yeah. Uh, so, do you want to watch all the Fast movies with me? Ben, for the last time. I don't ever want to see you again. All you do is talk about editing and fart. Whoa, whoa, We're uh, done. Babe. Do you hear me? We're um... done. Stop calling me. So my girlfriend didn't pick up a phone. <laughs> um, let's let the big voice guy do the outro. Subscribe to Finzar. If you like this video, then you'll love this one. Now get the hell out of here.